my muzzle loader final lab project part one and two. My project began with unpacking everything, laying it out, and taking inventory. Week four began with inletting and installing the lock into the stock. The week also consisted of removing the cast marks from the brass. Week four ended with inletting the stock four and installing the butt and toe plates. Week five consisted of installing the front and rear thimble and installing the barrel tenons and barrel. Week six consisted of inletting the stock four and installing the trigger assembly, inletting the stock four and installing the trigger guard, and shaping the rear half of the stock. In week seven, I installed the nose cap, shaped the front of the stock, Progressively sanded the stock and ramrod all the way uh, up to 220 and removed the dents. Functions check on a Shenandoah uh, muzzle loader, half cock, pull the rear trigger, hammer won't fall, pull it all the way back, pull the rear trigger, makes the uh, front trigger sensitive, let it fall forward. Dry firing the Shenandoah rifle, place the hammer in the half cock, pull the rear trigger to lock it in place. Put on the percussion cap, pull the trigger all the way to the rear, and then pull the trigger and let the hammer fall. Inletting, fitting, and installing the lock was the first real task I did in my muzzle loader build. I started this inletting process by putting some inletting glue on the inside of the lock assembly and trying to fit, place it into the stock. I then removed the lock assembly and used my palm chisels to try to remove all the high spots that were indicated by the inletting color. After removing them all, I respread the inletting color on the back of the lock assembly, replaced it in, and continued the process repeating it over and over again until I pretty much had the lock pretty close to fitting. I proceeded slowly and very cautiously from there using sandpaper and the removing a little bit of material at a time with the sandpaper and the palm chisels until I had the lock nice and fitted into its its inlet. With the lock assembly seated properly into the stock, I moved on to start the buttstock. 